Aren't you? Uh, just as our families gathered last week for the Thanksgiving break, uh, three Georgia men, Travis McMichael, Gregory McMichael, and William Roddy Bryan, were found guilty of murdering Ahmad Aubrey. Uh, social media rejoiced for the convictions and took a deep sigh of relief that just which, uh, <laughs> that, that was open and shut case. Uh, but justice had finally prevailed. However, there are still many questions on uh, what's to come and how uh, these men almost got away with it. Joining us this morning, you know, uh, is attorney Lee Merritt. Y'all give it up. Show your love right now this morning. <laughs> hey, Lee. Good morning, brother. Hey, man. Thank, thank you. Bro, thank you uh, so much for joining us, man. First and foremost, uh, thank you for all of your continued hard work. And, uh, you know, bringing these men to justice. How are Ahmad's mother and father doing after the trial? Ricky, uh, the family is leaves. Uh, as you mentioned it, the open shut case, but, you know, they went for almost two months in that county, uh, down in Glenn County, Brunswick, Georgia, without any arrest, and with everyone telling them they would have to move on. So, uh, Wanda Cooper Jones, Ahmad's mom, Marcus Arbery, they fought really hard to, to get us to this point. They, they're, they're letting it all soak in now. Wow. Now, the case is still not really over, even though we got the verdict. So there's still federal charges and appeals that are pending. So what happens first before the sentencing and when will that be? Before the sentencing, uh, well, the, the, the very next step is the sentencing. The judge hasn't set the date when we broke court on Monday. Uh, he was giving um, the attorneys the holiday. They'll come back, discuss schedule today and get into sentencing. Now, the mandatory sentence for these gentlemen in Georgia is life, considering the, the verdict that they were um, charged with. They have an appellate process that's going to last years. But in, as early as January 20th, uh, the federal case, the hate crime case, will begin against them uh, over in Savannah. Can you explain that? I said as early as February, the federal case will begin in Savannah. Uh, against these gentlemen. No, I'm, ta I'm talking about explain the federal case. Now, uh, how does that work? Yeah, so these men were charged with state crimes by the attorney general, by the uh, by the district attorney uh, for Cobb County uh, for the murder of a mob, which was a violation of Georgia state law. At the time, Georgia did not have a hate crime statute. They do today as a result of a mob's murder, but at the time there was not one in place. But there was a federal hate crime statute. Uh, and the, the U.S. Department of Justice came in and charged each one of these men with several hate crimes, saying that they targeted a mob specifically because of its race. Now, uh, Attorney Merritt, uh, regardless of the evidence that was found at the scene of the crime, the McMichaels were not charged for murder of Ahmad for 74 days until it hit the national news cycle. Now, former Glenn County uh, uh, District Attorney Jackie Johnson has been indicted for obstruction and violation of oath. First off, how can we prevent situations like this in the future? And do you think she'll even have to serve time? Well, there's two issues that... that sort of are, are take the headlines in Ahmad's case. The first, of course, is a, an ongoing issue in our country with gun violence. And we prevent gun, gun violence in a number of ways. We haven't been able, particularly in the South, to talk seriously about gun restrictions and safety checks because these men were open and notorious racists. Uh, the, the shooter, Greg McMichael, had a difficult time qualifying to arrest people at work because he lacked the uh, competency to do that as a private as as a professional and so he certainly shouldn't have had weapons as a private person but we don't have the kind of gun laws to catch things like that and then of course the second major breakdown in this case was the failure for the prosecutors to come in and convict these men to hold these men accountable for their crimes and we uh we fixed that by voting paying closer mm -hmm. attention to the district attorney and attorney general's office uh, as you all might know i'm actually running for attorney general in texas but we yes. need quality individuals yes. Uh, uh, to occupy those positions. So people are comparing this to the Trayvon Martin case. So what would you say the difference is and how the juror, jurors came back with their verdicts? Honestly, I've talked to Brother Ben Krupp about this a lot because he was there working both cases. Mm -hmm. um, and the, the, the real difference is the video, honestly. Uh, Trayvon was targeted by 
a white vigilante who arms himself and, and decided to impute criminal criminality on Trayvon's skin color. That's actually exactly what happened in the Mods case. Uh, George Zimmerman and his attorneys were able to argue successfully in court that Trayvon Martin, uh, uh, despite being targeted and harassed and pursued, became the danger and posed a threat by virtue of the ground. Literally, the ground became the weapon in Trayvon Martin's hands. Uh, and in this case, I, I'm, I'm afraid we would have seen a similar result, except they had a broad daylight video. One was shot at one o'clock on a Sunday in the middle of the day, you know, and that, that evidence was really difficult to overcome. Hey, 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 so, so they, Lee, they, would they ever get out of jail? Those men are in jail for the rest of their lives, and, and I'm looking forward, just in case there's a there's a there's a thin shot on a pill. I'm looking forward to the federal uh, prosecutions as well, because there's no probation, there's no um, 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 uh, appeal at the federal level, and so I'm looking forward to that as well. Do you think that'll send a message out to white, uh, you know, white supremacists, you know, that go out and, and do stuff like that, that uh, they really uh, roll in the dice? I hope so. I think our courts are sending mixed messages to vigilantes. Uh, obviously, the Cal Rittenhouse sent one message, uh, the conclusion, and, and, and this mess, this case sends another. Now, the family had to work extraordinarily hard to expose the racism and corruption that was in, within the government before they could get to justice. And so I'm hoping we all get a message from that. I, I think there's a lot of sleeper cells out there that look like Glenn County around the country that we need to deal with. Hey, okay. Hey, Lee, Ben just uh, just called in. Hey, Ben, re uh, real uh, answer this question. First of all, Fred, good, good morning, man. I love y'all so much. Will that white prosecutor that refused to prosecute uh, those those three white men, will she go to jail? And if she, and if she get convicted, what is she facing? Hey, love you too, Ricky. If uh, Lee and I got anything to do with it, she will go to jail. We're going to push... The prosecutors, uh, we need the court of public opinion to not let her get away with it because she was just involved with accessory after the fact. If you were doing that, Ricky, what she did, yeah, there should be no exception because she's a white woman. Would she lose her law license? She, well, she, she is definitely should lose her law her. license. Yeah. I was well, say that again. The felony charges that she's facing, so she would lose the law license, and she would have to serve jail time if convicted if she, if she is and offers some sort of plea. All right, hey, hey Ben, anything you want to add to this? Hey, thank God for a mod Aubrey spirit. It was a mod spirit that defeated Jim Crow, Lee Merritt, and the Kills. Yeah, we gonna keep leading this battle, Ricky. We Ooh. keep leading in the court of public opinion. We gonna keep leading in the court of law. Hey, uh, uh, bros, I love y'all so much, man. Uh, uh, happy belated uh, Founders Day to y'all, man. Hey, thank y'all so much for the hard work y'all doing. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, y'all give it up for attorneys Lee Merritt and Ben Crump. <laughs> 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 <laughs>